r slash pro revenge how i ended up with my boss's job i was working for an advertising agency a pretty big one i had an unethical manager well when i started out i had a manager who was one of the most unethical managers i've ever dealt with he'd order his sales reps to do things that would increase his bonuses which are based on margins example say a client decided to buy product xyz and their spend was two thousand dollars a month he would want the agent to put up the products, ABC, and keep the spend at $2,000 even though the client didn't agree to that. Fact is, the clients generally wouldn't notice, but if they did, it could cost you your job. I was the guy that refused his demands. He would tell me to cheat the client and I wouldn't refuse. He would get mad. I wouldn't care. This went on for quite a while. Now, there is something I don't tell people very often. I live in a one-party consent state, which means so long as I'm aware a conversation is being recorded, I can record it without informing the other party. I had just upsold my largest client, making him even larger, but I didn't sell the products my boss wanted me to sell. He demanded I switch things around. I refused. I told him I sold the client XYZ, that's what we agreed to. I'm not going to change that without the customer's permission. His exact words were, Fuck the customer. This is your largest client. I need him on ABC or I'm not going to make my number. I'm sorry, but you and I both know ABC isn't right for this client and that's why he didn't buy it. You're fired. If you can't follow instructions, you're fired. After confirming he was dead serious, I said, if you do that, I'll have your job by the end of the month. I went home. I didn't think he'd go through with it. Sure as shit, next morning I'm locked out of all our systems. I call tech support and get told I've been fired. So who do I call? I call our regional vice president and tell him I have several recordings I think he should listen to. Remember my boss ordering me to do unethical things wasn't common? So I meet up with my RVP and play six different recordings that I had saved showing my manager was pushing his agents to break the law. To which my RVP leaned back in his chair and let out a sign knowing he had to fire my manager. Having a sales manager that is forcing his reps to break the law is just bad business. At which point I asked my job back. He agreed that I would get my job back and asked me to take the week off and call him on Monday. He told me he'd talk to payroll and make sure I got paid for this week as well. FYI, he fulfilled all of his promises with me, although I missed a payday but got back pay later so I was fine with that. That Monday, I come into our Monday morning meeting in which my RVP was there. He informed the entire team that my boss had been fired and why. He also mentioned that if anyone wanted to apply for his job, there was now an opening. So I applied for, and after three rounds of interview, got my promotion. Sure as shit, I was right. I did have my boss's job by the end of the month. It was glorious the first day walking into his office and sitting in his nice, big, comfy chair.